Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel Tech2Easy. Easy. So today we will learn how we can create a plugin in Dynamics 65 CRM. So as as I have already discussed this in previous video, so today I will show you with the demo. So before starting, if you are new into our YouTube channel, so please hit on the subscribe button below. This will keep you up to date whenever a new video is published. So now I am going to show it on my screen. So as I already tell you in my previous video. Uh, when we try to create a plugin time system CRM, we have to follow some steps, right? So now I'm going to show you on my screen. So uh, first we have to create a, a class library project. As you can see, this this uh, this is I'm already created. This is the solution name and this is the class um, project name. And uh, after that, I have to uh, we have to add a dependency time system web CRM dependency. So for adding the dependency, just you have to right click on the project. And just click on this manage nuget package when you will click on this it will show you this screen and here you have to add this assembly you can say uh, dependency this is name is microsoft.crmsdk.core assemblies so you have to add this i will put this name in the description so you can take from there there okay and uh, after that uh, what you have to do uh, you have to create uh, when you create a, cl uh, a, cl a solution, so it will uh, come with a uh, like a class name and uh, other things. So after that, what you have to create, uh, what you have to do, uh, you have to add a, uh, you have to add an interface, a plugin interface. So uh, for that, you have to just put uh, a colon i plugin. So when you type this uh, colon i plugin, so uh, it will automatically create a. Uh, this uh, method uh, avoid execute method and uh, this is the uh, method which uh, come automatically and uh, you, you have to write your custom logic inside this method only so this is this method come when you will uh, implement the i plugin and uh, this is uh, uh, the custom logic which you have to write as per your business logic and as per your requirement you can write your custom logic inside this method only okay so as you can see this is uh, I, I wrote for and uh, one thing also I will tell you like uh, this is a pre-validation class okay so I created three classes as you can see pre-validation post operation and pre-operation so this uh, code will execute in pre-validation this one for pre-operation this one for post operation okay the so same you have to do for others like in people operation also you have to implement i plugin and when you you implement i plugin you have to just uh, mouse over on this and when you mouse over on this it will uh, ask you for creating a method so this method will create automatically so uh, after adding this custom logic so this is a custom logic code. So for your reference, I will put this code as well in the uh, in the description box. And uh, after this, what you have to do? Uh, this is our uh, third step, right? So after this, you have to uh, sign in the class library. So for signing the class library, uh, what you have to do? Uh, you have to just right click on the uh, solution and just click on properties. And you have to click here sign in as you can see in the left corner you can see sign in just click on this so after this you have to uh, check this checkbox sign in the assembly and here you have to choose a strong key file name so there is a two options here is there if you have existing file name, you can select if you want to create new so just click on new so when we click on uh, on new so you have to you have to fill these details key file name so i am putting here test login password you can enter as per which you want to enter make sure both passwords should be same and this is the algorithm signature algorithm sha 256 sha 1rs you can take as uh, which you want to take so I will suggest take this one SH256 RSA and just click on OK. Now you can see 
it's created the uh, file name test plugin dot pfx okay and here you, you can also see the sign in file is added in the solution so just save it and just build solution once okay so this this is our code which created okay so now what we have to do uh, as you can see we have wrote some custom logic here right so uh, we, we execute this uh, logic from the CRM so for uh, con creating a connection between CRM and this code uh, you have to uh, post this code on the CRM so for that uh, uh, we have option like registering the plugin so after that after creating the plugin we have to register this plugin okay so for the register the plugin we have a tool plugin registration tool okay so using plugin registration tool what we can do we can register our plugin so uh, when we register our plugin so then uh, we will able to see this plugin code in our CRM instance so for registering the plugin you have to uh, download this plugin registration tool okay I'll put this uh, uh, exe link as well in the description box so you can uh, you can download from there and uh, uh, when you download uh, this just open this is a exe file so when you will open you will able to see these options create new connection reload organizations replay plugin execution view plugin profile okay so as you can see first option is create new connection so for creating a uh, for the external plugin into the crm instance first you have to create a connection so for creating a connection just click on this create new connection okay so as you can see uh, when you will click on new connection so you will be able to see some options is here so like you can see on premises and office 365 but uh, right now uh, I'll, I am doing this for the time 65 CRM means CRM online so I will take uh, select uh, this one office 365 okay and just check this one so advanced option and just select uh, this checkbox as well display list of available organization okay so when you will select these details so you will, oh, uh, you will you will get some options for adding the username and password okay so for adding the username and password and this is the reason so if you know the region you can select the region from here if you don't know just select don't know and here you have to enter your CRM instance credential CRM username and password so here I will enter the CRM instance username and password so after login you will be able to see this screen as you can see in the plugin session tool so these are the registered plugin and custom workflow activities this is the existing okay which exists in CRM so now we have uh, we are going to add the our custom logic means our custom code plugin code okay so for that what we have to do just click on this register drop down and select new assembly as we are going to uh, add a new assembly right so just uh, click on this new assembly so when we click on this so you will able to see this option so here what you have to do you have to select here your uh, like uh, when we uh, build this solution so we generated a dl file right so this is a assembly so you have to select this assembly from here okay so as you can see uh, this is our uh, so for that what you what you have to do so first you have to uh, go to our solution just right click on this and click on this open containing folder so when you will click on this it will show you uh, your solution path okay so just click on this bin debug so you have to what you have to do you have to select that uh, that file so you can do one thing you can just copy this co uh, you can just copy this path and uh, go to your pregnancy tool and you, you can select th this one from here just paste it here and you can select your uh, DLL file from here okay and after that what you have to select uh, when you will uh, I'm just going to show you like this is our assembly so when you will select this so it will show you th these are then you have you have three steps so you will uh, able to see that steps here so as you can see right now we have only one so we are able to see once and uh, here after that you have to select here specify the isolation mode so uh, we will select here sandbox and uh, uh, these are the uh, specified location where assembly should be stored so our assembly will be stored in the database so we will select here database because we are going to save it in the cds okay cds database so we will select database and after that what you do just click on this register selected plugin okay 
so when we will click on this register selected plugin so uh, our plugin will register and uh, but uh, our um, in 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 that case uh, uh, when we like uh, uh, we register our plugin for the like when a new lead created in the crm so our plugin code should uh, execute okay but right now we just add added our plugin we are not added a step so we have to add steps then only our plugin code will execute okay so for adding the steps what we have to do just click on this register drop down and just select here register new step so when will uh, you will uh, click on this register new steps so you you will able to see this message message is, is nothing but you have to, uh, the option uh, you can see a trigger point so uh, if you want to uh, trigger your code on the basis of create so just uh, search create and select this and this is a primary entity from which entity you want to create so i'm just select lead here secondary entity if you have then select if you don't have any secondary entity so you just select none and uh, this is a step step name so by default uh, it come create of a lead because uh, our X, uh, trigger point is create and entity name is lead so you can change it as uh, if you want to change and uh, else uh, you can uh, take it as well so um, after that uh, you will able to see the stages some this, this is the execution order like if you have uh, you if you added three steps and if you want to uh, execute first uh, this one second another third another so uh, as per your uh, uh, as per your business logic and as per your requirement you can change it if you want to execute uh, this one first so you can put it one here by description this is not a mandatory field so you can uh, if you want to uh, put it as a blank you can also do that and this is a uh, plugin stage so as you can see even pipeline is stage of execution so uh, as i told you i created three classes uh, like uh, pre-validation post validation pre-operation okay so here you have to select from which operation you want to uh, trigger this like pre-validation pre-operation pre post operation so you can select it uh, from this drop down as per your requirement and this is the execution mode so as i am selected pre-validation so we can uh, trigger the pre-validation only for the synchronous mode okay not for that thing if you want to uh, uh, execute your, your code as per your uh, requirement is your asynchronous mode so in the pre-operation and like uh, in the post operation you can do it like as you can see this option is enabled now but in the pre-operation as you can see this is disabled and uh, sorry in the pre-validation in the pre-operation also disabled so if you want to use asynchronous so you can use as asynchronous mode only in the post operation mode so in the pre-validation you, you, by default it will select it and here deployment is server and offline so i am going to uh, deploy it server so i have selected this server so after uh, putting these details just click on this register new steps so when you will register so you will be able to see uh, steps like this this is the assembly and this is the steps so and after that uh, when you will create any lead as i am uh, register the register this step for the like whenever a new lead created in the crm so this uh, plugin code uh, will execute okay so if you want to uh, like create as uh, when a new record created yeah, if you want to this is uh, i told you how we can create uh, create plugin and how we can register plugin in the crm okay if you want to uh, uh, debug your plugin like uh, you created a plugin and you are facing some issue like um, so uh, as you can see uh, today we will learn how we can create a plugin and uh, how we can register plugin into the crm so like uh, after registering the plugin uh, when we create a uh, like when we create a lead in the registry crm and on the lead creation we added a steps in the plugin registration tool so when we create a lead so it should uh, create a task as well okay so uh, like when we create a lead in the extension CRM, but it's not created a task. So th there is something added like uh, in our code in the plugin, like in our plugin code. So if you want to debug that code, so there is an option in the plugin registration tool itself. As you can see in the plugin registration tool, we have option install profiler. So for debugging your code, first what you have to do, you have to install your profiler. So when you will install your profiler, so um, you will able to see one option is there after installing a profiler you will be able to see the start profiling 
so when we install profiler so after that you have to select the your assembly and uh, inside this assembly you have to select your step so when we select your step you will be able to see option start profiling so when, when you will select the start profiling so after that uh, you have to add a you have to attach one process uh, in, in your VS Studio code so for atta attaching the process just click on this debug and uh, select this attach to process so when we click on this attach to process uh, you will able to see this screen and here uh, as you can see we will debug on the basis of Visual Studio code and uh, plugin registration tool so f uh, here you have to select plugin registration tool okay so here we will select plugin registration tool and we will attach this so right now we will uh, you will not able to see the plugin registration tool just because uh, we uh, in the plugin registration tool we are not uh, installing the profiler so when you will install the profiler so after that you will able to see the plugin registration tool uh, in 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 this window attached to process window so you have to select plugin registration tool there and uh, after that uh, in the plugin registration tool uh, you will able to see one of uh, uh, as you can see debug option here so when you will click on this debug option so it will hit uh, the uh, visual studio code window like uh, if you want to debug from this method here if you want to debug from this if if statement so just uh, put the debugger uh, from where you want to debug your code and after that when you will click on debug on this window in plugin station tool window so it will hit here and you can debug uh, line by line okay so this is uh, uh, the like how we can debug our code using plugin station tool so that's all for today if you found this video us useful then please like share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and supporting the channel